the road that I'm going to try to ride up. I doubt that I'll be successful, but I'm going to give it a shot. So here is the, uh, here's the first gate over here. This is, I'm going to go by it slowly so you can see it. This is a really custom made ornamental iron gate for sure. And I'm going to ride on the, actually on the wrong side of the road so you can see the craftsmanship here. Look at how this right up here on the left where the stone wall butts up against the tree. I came by here one day and came across a stonemason who was rebuilding part of this wall back in the early days. And it's just, it's an art. It was unbelievable. He told me that he spends more time looking for just the right stone than he does actually physically building the wall. This is a, uh, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bridle path on the other side of the wall. It goes all around the top of this little, it's not a mountain, it's a, it's a big hill. And here is uh, gate number two. We're going to ride up to it. I'm going to let you look around. Okay. Go ahead. Over here you can see the uh, horse walking trail. Okay. Now this part of the wall down here gets huge. I mean, it's like six feet high. Just gorgeous. So down there in that valley, there's another custom-made gate and more stone walls. Guy has a thing for stone walls. I'm, I'm telling you, this is just... The money he must have spent putting these walls back together. So this wall right here that you see to my left is just a rubble of stones. This this land is not owned by the by the stone wall baron, but they're trying. But an artist. An artist did this. Now, I'm not supposed to go up here at all, but oh, cobbles, horse farm, beautiful horse farm, beautiful gate, beautiful stone wall. And you saw it here first on the top of a little hill in Chester, Connecticut. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this, my friends, is the end of the tour of the beautiful stone walls of Chester. Next, a downhill ride couple miles away, so stand by. Hello. Hi. 
We are about to go down a uh, nice steep hill. I'm going to leave the camera going for most of it. And here's an indication of the grade. This is an 8% downhill. And it's fun. So here we go. Say hello to my shadow. Hi, shadow. Nobody behind us? Looking in my rear view mirror? Getting in the middle of the lane? That was a fun downhill. This is my kind of bicycle riding. Screw all those steep hills. Going up them is terrible. Coming down, whole different story. But see, all those hills that I had to go up got me to the top of the mountain. And now I can enjoy the coming down. So, one more hill to go. We have Cedar Lake coming up here. I'll be passing by it, and it will be off to my left. We're coming up on another hill. This little lake off there to the right. Beautiful yellow house right there. I love that house. I gotta hug the hug the corner here. Cars in back of me. This is not a bike lane. For those of you who don't cycle, you see that line to the right? That denotes the travel lane on the left and the shoulder on the right. If the shoulder was made for bicycles to ride in, they would have symbols, bicycle symbols in it. This doesn't. It's got drainage grates like right here and so we actually have to go out into the travel lane which really tends to piss off motorists that they don't understand another drainage grade so I, there's no way I could ride to the right of that line and you don't want to ride on the line, but then people try to pass you on when it's unsafe, like on this corner right here. And he passed me out on the corner because the, the shoulder got wider, and I actually moved over. It was pretty safe over here, so. I stay, I stay on the shoulder when it's safe to do so, but that hill, because of the water running down the hill, they have to have drainage grades, I understand, but it's no place for cyclists to be. First over in the paddock there. Beautiful farmhouse old, old house. So I'm going to bid you adieu and 
as usual. Thank you for putting up with me as I as I train for my summer ride, as I try to work on my cycling skills, as well as my video skills.